Folks, uh, I set up the audio, so uh, no promises. Welcome to Gen Con Online for Murder Hobo Inc., folks. I'm Frank, your host and DM. Uh, welcome aboard. Uh, obviously, we've had a couple players missing, so that's going to be a slight issue, but I will go ahead and work through it and just kill these guys early, and you can watch something at 8.30. Not a big deal. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. It's going to shoot the shit about D&D. Join our Discord if you want to buy our cool crap like this Murder Hobo Con shirt or this stupid phone case or uh, toilet cover. I don't know. We saw a lot of crap. The link is down there somewhere. Check it out. Uh, most importantly, if you want to be on a one-shot, like tomorrow, but tomorrow's full, sorry, or on the talk show on Tuesdays, hit us up at mhobo Inc. Twitter or Gmail. Uh, we will get you on there, uh, just like a new player tomorrow. So, you know... Uh, we're open to that. That's not a big deal. Uh, we'd like to thank our sponsors, of course, Pirate Dog Dice for custom dice that don't suck. Uh, hopefully, uh, I don't need to pull out Big Red tonight uh, to teach these guys a lesson, but you never know. Uh, also, if your game stinks, unlike ours, ours smells like success, try some adventure scents from oddfishgames.com. Uh, they make a plethora of scents, including my personal favorite, Putrid Sewers. Uh, if you've never seen a human being choke on something, yeah, check our archives. It's in there. Uh, they also make the shine system. So if you want to write an adventure gooder than me, check out their shine system, and that will help you along. And, of course, the long-awaited, much-anticipated How to RPG with the Chat Kickstarter is currently on and live. So check our tweets, and you will find them, or go to oddfishgames.com. Uh, tonight... We've got three players trying to solve a mystery of some burglaries, or they just tell me to kiss off and they go off on some dingus urban adventure. But let's go ahead and introduce you to them, uh, and we will start with Andrew. Andrew, who are you and who are you playing tonight? Good evening, everyone. I am Andrew. Tonight I'll be playing Shakes, the human rogue. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter. It's Y-A-W-E-T-A-G. Check out my 100,000 view tweet from last week. Uh, nice. I just had my 15 minutes of fame. Um, that's actually part tonight. I'm going to be rolling with the dragon or die for my D20. It's from Dots RPG. You can go to dotsrpg.org. They are an organization who works on accessibility for tabletops. Um, and they make braille dice. Oh, that's cool. Um, yep. And part of my thing was I sent a set of braille dice out to South Africa. Nice. for a player out there so uh got a little exposure on that when i tweeted it out and uh so tonight i'm gonna be repping them and hopefully kill a few people nice and that is <laughs> dot org yes dot org so dots d-o-t-s r-p-g dot org very good uh new player to the murder hobo crew we'll see how she does see uh how much she thinks we stink uh shannon tell <laughs> us a little bit about yourself tell us who you're playing Hi, I'm um, Shannon Price. I'm playing um, Kelly tonight. Uh, I gave her the last name of Brightstone. She's a knowledge cleric. Uh, I'm just trying to prove herself. And I am from Sentinels Keep um, Gaming Society. We are out of um, Sidman, PA. And um, we um, run d um, games for Sci-Fi Valley Con. And um, two of us will be running games that... Um, Pittsburgh Retro Gaming Con. That will be myself and our other DM, Leonard. And when is that? Uh, the Pittsburgh um, Gaming. Uh, the Pittsburgh one is October first weekend on October, and Sci-Fi Valley Con is the second weekend in October. Big month. <laughs> big month coming up in just very big weeks. month. Uh, last but certainly not least, always behind the camera for the most part uh, tonight, behind and in front and overheating. Uh, Carrie, tell us about yourself. Tell us about your PC. I'm Carrie. I'm married to the DM. Don't worry. He gives me no special <laughs> treatment. Um, I will perhaps, probably be puppy wrangling during this event as well. Um, but I will be playing Gobi, the intellectual half-elf wizard um who is obsessing over a former lover so i guess i'll be love struck or very sad the entire time no you'll be love struck okay. <laughs> period <laughs> uh folks uh you three are at the restless night in yes k-n-i-g-h-t <laughs> because i am so good with names uh 
you guys have come in from the long trail and you guys are just uh, enjoying the fruits of your prior labors, but you're starting to run a little bit low on cash. Fortunately for you, a posting goes up in the common room just as you finish your morning meal. Uh, any of you guys want to look at it or you just want to rook me over and make me do this uh, on stretch pills? Well, oh, I'll take a... Okay, I have an intelligence of 14, which is the best I've ever had on a character, so I might be able to actually read this. <laughs> I don't even know what uh, it is. I'll take it up, uh, look at it. Sure. Uh, you guys notice that there is a job opportunity right behind you. Now, you guys are in Cathaway. The city is a metropolis. Awesome. It is huge. Uh, it is known for its underground crab fighting contest, the UCFC. Uh, probably not going to come into play tonight. Sorry, folks. Uh, but uh, the posting has it that the next district over, uh, known as the Medica Quarter, uh, has a burglary problem. And the alderman there is looking for brave adventurers and intellectuals who can go ahead and solve this heinous string of events. His name is Alderman Boris Altasov, uh, because my accent stink guy went with a quasi Russian. Uh, Little Bulgaria is a large area about, uh, well, our oh. fourth player has shown up. Uh, we'll hang on to get him on here. Oh, Carrie redoes the cameras. Good. I don't have to kill twice as many people. <laughs> That's right. Now you got now you got the fighter. So you know, just stand behind him. Let him do all the heavy lifting. If his audio connects. That is the one drawback to Zoom. <laughs> John, can you hear us? Man, that audio is there. It goes. Smooka, can you hear us? Yeah, I'm just putting in my name. No problem. I've got a better idea. I will put this in. Uh, so, Justin, go ahead and tell us a little bit about yourself. Tell us who you're playing tonight. I am playing Smuka. He is a half orc soldier fighter. Um, Sarah. Oh, uh, as far as dice rolling goes, I have an app on my phone. Uh, is it okay if I use that to roll dice? Sure. sure. We trust you. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, Smuka, you and your associates, uh, since you're the fighter, uh, are reading a job opportunity that's in the district right behind you. You guys are in the metropolis city known as Cath or Cathaway. Uh, the little Bulgaria district is right behind you, and the alderman Boris Antonasov uh, needs help in solving a string of burglaries. Uh, these guys just finished reading it. Uh, it doesn't have any listing on how much treasure or what the reward is. Uh, what say you four brave adventurers? Do you want to do it or no? Sure. I, yeah. I mean, whatever you guys think we should do. I'm always up for an adventure. As long as we don't break any laws, I'm okay. Oh, what I, show I, are you I, on? <laughs> I, uh... I'm sorry, I am lawful neutral. Oh. Uh, I knew That's the alignment on the character sheet. That's <laughs> what I'm playing. That's fair. Enough. <laughs> uh, so, uh, do you guys, uh, you guys can ask for directions to figure out where this alderman is, or uh... that sounds like a good. Thing to do. I'm mostly a muscle kind of guy for like fighting and athletics and perception. I'm not good at much else. Uh, maybe, maybe if we have someone with a high charisma, I've got a low charisma is my lowest stat, so I shouldn't be doing anything social. Uh, 
Oh, don't sell yourself short. Uh, <laughs> the innkeeper here at the Restless Night Inn uh, informs you that Alderman Boris is the Cooper. Uh, he is not a standard governmental official. He actually has a real job. Uh, the area is no, known as the Medica Quarter. is also referred to as Little Bulgaria uh, because most of the people that live in the Medica Quarter came from the land known as Bulgaria. Someone give me, everyone give me an arcana check, please. So that would simply be uh, a d20 plus the arcana bonus? Yep. Okay, not a problem. I, for me. So I got a nice four and I'm proficient in it. I rolled, oh, I rolled, eight. I rolled a natural, oh, I rolled a natural 20. Oh, well, the fighter... <laughs> The fighter knows. Wow, we're off to a great start. Uh, Smuka, you know that Bulgaria is not the name of the country. It was the name of the heinous dictator that ruled the land and was overthrown uh, by uh, outside forces. So uh, you will be aware that uh, the term Bulgaria not so good. Uh, Medica, much better. Okay. So, um, when uh, are 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 the are the four of us alone, or are we in a place that people can overhear us? You are in the common room of the inn. However, if you move around, you can get to an area where nobody will hear you because nobody really cares in this part of the city. In that case, I inform what I know about Bulgaria to the rest of my party mates. Boo. Okay, so you guys all know not to call them Bulgarians. <laughs> they cook on the cabbage. That's right. Uh, cabbage is constantly cooking in that area. Uh, the innkeeper tells you that uh, it's the Cooper, and he's pretty much right behind the inn. That's where his shop is. Let's go. Hang with Mr. Very Cooper. Cool. Okay, I'm ready. Is it the time of day that he would be um, present, do you think? Uh, it is just after breakfast, so you know if he's an early riser, he will already be at the his shop, uh, coopering. And if not, we can just go back to the inn and have more breakfast. That's true. Or, or you know, do dodge chamber pots being thrown and things of that nature. Uh, as you guys cut across the street, uh, you hear a loud whinny and a gallop of horseshoes on the cobblestone street. It appears as though a horse is broken loose from its wagon and is uh, careening down the street, knocking people, peasants, and uh, city dwellers all over the place. Everybody roll an acrobatics check to see if you dodge the horse oh or goodness. get smacked. My goodness. Uh, an eight. You're going to take actually, one. I got uh, a seven. 16, actually. Three. And I'm uh, not good with that. Gobi falls into Smuka, who falls into shakes as the horse comes by and clatters all over you for five hit points of damage as its buttocks smacks you Ouch. into a building. Uh, Kelly. How many, how many did you say five? Five. Uh, Kelly, you managed to dodge it and get to watch the uh, humorous antics of your colleagues as they get smashed into the side of a building, you guys are going to end up paying for the damage. The horse careens down the street and hangs a left. Uh, you guys, along with the other urbanites, uh, pick yourselves up, dust yourselves off. If I roll a one, two, or three, somebody's dead. 14. Nobody died from the horse, so that's a plus, you know, that's a plus. Uh, you guys cross the street a little bit more wary this time, avoid any uh, horse poop, and cut into uh, the section. Again, it's like uh, two block, two block by two block. So four block radius is uh, the area known as uh, Little Bulgaria. Uh, the Cooper sign is right out there. And inside, you can hear the clatter of an individual working and yelling. Who wants to go in first? Hi, oh, he seems a little um, scary. I think he's very happy. I'll go in. What do I have to lose? Everybody else going to follow him in? Uh, yeah. The, the Cooper is a burly, hairy man. 
uh, balding on top, but a great set of mutton chops. Uh, he is currently, uh, shall we say, reinforcing a lesson on one of his interns slash indentured servants slash kids that he is trying to teach. Uh, he sees you guys enter, uh, cleans his hands off. Hello, how can I help you? Yeah. Good morning, sir. I'm Shakes. This is Kelly. It's Muka. We uh, saw your notice over in the in the inn. Thought we ah, go to ah good. You are you are heroes. You are heroes. Heroes. Well, it, yes. Mm, no. Heroes. Try sure. to be. That does not sound reassuring, my friend. We've done <laughs> a good thing once or twice. What, what, do, what have you got for us? We have a problem. We have big problem. All my people, mad. They are very mad. We have burglary ring. Every business, every business during the night, they get robbed. Every Something business? Happens. Every, well, every business but two. Which so ones? far, every business but two so far. What, what two? Uh... Not on that page. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, damn it. I'm on the page and I can't find it. Uh, the silversmith and the pawn shop have not been burglarized. Interesting. Uh, he points out, uh, he takes you through his shop, and that leads you into an interior courtyard. All of the buildings ring this courtyard. Inside the courtyard are civilians, urbanites, villagers, family members, kids, things of that nature, while all the shops that ring this courtyard are open for business. Uh, Boris points over and says, that one, that one right there, that is the pawn shop. It has not been hit. The one on the far side. That is the silver shop. It has not been hit. And then he, he's got lots of money. So but I think I think he's got stuff in there. I, I interrupt. How many oh, that'll nights? Work. Well, I, excuse me, but how many nights has everything been burglarized? Three! Last three nights! This this burglars, these robbers, they are they are making everybody mad, and I as the alderman. Uh, they mad at me now. So, so hit, you got to solve this. They hit multiple businesses a night? Yes. Oh. So Very good. I see that I have put my faith in the right people. So it would have to be a, a group doing this. Sure. Or unless they're using that. some type of time magic. That's true. Uh, I, I think I think the four of us should go somewhere out of earshot of the older man to discuss this. Okay. okay. Do you want a job? Do you want a job or no? Yes, we yes. want the job. Okay, uh, you have a job. Okay. How uh, much are you what, paying us? What type of day is, uh, what type of year is it? What time of year? Uh, spring. Spring, okay. He's offered you 500. Okay. Um, how many hours of darkness are is there? Is it like around the equinox? Well, it's twelve hours of darkness. Uh, it's it's not quite the equinox, so maybe thirteen. Thir thirteen hours of darkness. Okay. Uh, why don't why don't we set up like a twelve hour watch, and each of us will take like uh, three hours of the dark time that it's dark what time Kelly, uh, uh, a small child has run into you uh and falls down on their butt and starts to cry <laughs> for you oh hi hey sweetie can i help you an angry mother approaches <laughs> what are you doing to my child why do you hit my child oh it was it was just an accident uh, and you just... do not hit my child i will hit my child he will hit my child she will hit my child you are outsider. You do not hit my child. Don't hit my child. I did not. Don't. Um, don't. 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 Uh, <laughs> uh, you're not going to win this one. Just... You should also not hit your okay, child. Okay. Okay. I'm. I'm. I'm going to intervene here and say, uh, "Look, lady, she did mean to hit your child." Okay. Charisma check, Smuka. <laughs> oh wait. <laughs> I have no. I have intimidation. I have a plus are, one. Now, are we intimidating her, or are we yes? Very okay. different. Oh, I'm right. a big half orc. I'm intimidating her. 
Sure. I'm That'll work. <laughs> you better not roll low, because she'll frying pan your ass. It is Bulgaria. Uh, 19 plus 1 yeah. is 20. You, you think you're a tough man. You, you, know, you smell like tough man, but you don't hit my kid either, and you tell your friend not to hit my kid. I don't think there's any anything any way to get through to this woman. Does someone want to try to calm her down? Usually, uh, uh you just let um strong mothers be. They don't yeah. stop talking. We won't okay. hit her. We won't hit persuasion. Your kid. I am at a minus one for persuasion, so that's not going to help. Yeah. Uh, you seem to have intimidated her. She grabs her kid and whisks you off. Everybody, roll per or perception, please. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, Dots RPG needs to make a better dive. Alright, you dice are uh, in here. Ten. That's a three. So that's a nine. Seventeen. And dice jail. Toby, how about you? Carrie. I said ten. Oh, sorry. Uh Smooka, uh your intimidating nature, your puffed out chest. Uh, has allowed you to scan the crowd looking for uh, potential threats, and you notice that your first uh, or initial foray into the Bulgarian district has not gone well as a lot of people grab their children and uh, uh -oh. look at you uh, angrily. Uh, the, the parents are calling their children over. The ladies who are doing their laundry has stopped. Everybody kind of puts their hands on their hip to look at you uh outsiders oh, uh so, so are any of are are there any other orcs here or am i the only one you guys are the only ones is there a coffee kind. shop or a tavern around here you have no idea you're inside the courtyard uh, okay. oh we could ask somebody i, I, I guess think they're gonna do it at this point <laughs> maybe we should buy like some goodies from the the sweet shop and give them out to the kids maybe that'll make them happy Okay, hold on, hold on a minute. Uh, let me see here. Uh, yes, I have 13 gold, 2 silver, uh, 20 copper, and some gems. I can definitely afford that. Uh, uh, is, is, can I look around to see if there's anyone selling any food stuffs? Sure, every time you look around where people are, the parents just kind of brace their child up against them because you're the big angry half work. What time of day is it? I, you guys just ate breakfast. Oh, that's right. Uh, well, wh why don't we... How about we... we go talk to some businesses? Yeah, let's kind of yeah. walk around. We should uh, question the other businesses, <clears throat> especially the two that weren't hit. That's a good idea. Now, you are inside the courtyard. You may go to the back doors of the different shops or you may exit through the Cooper's office and go around from the front. Hmm, I want to go They're to the gonna back be... door. I think they, uh, they may be less suspicious if we come in through the front. So yeah, if, if we come in through the them. back door, they might actually think that we are thieves. And exactly. it just shows the wrong side type of day. Well, I mean, yeah, exactly, and they'll attack us. So that's not a good idea. Doesn't matter to me. I say front doors. Front doors, definitely. I, I got three that votes for front suggest. door. That's uh, <laughs> uh You go out through the Cooper's office, and Boris immediately stops you. Did you solve the problem? Do you have people in custody? Uh, Are the crimes okay, done? Okay, okay. Uh, I'm going to try to explain to the Cooper. Uh, we're probably going to have to wait up till tonight because the thieves aren't going to attack till tonight. But if the thieves attack tonight, we'll get them. You do understand I'm in a hurry. There's, well, there's a sir, no one's going to rob down. your sir. No one's going to rob your business in the morning where everyone could see them. Why not? Because I, I have thieves. There are it, pickpockets all over. Has it happened place. before where businesses rob during the day? Well, not mine. I sell barrels. Anybody we'll else? Barrel. I don't know. Uh, w look, we'll talk to all your fellow merchants who are robbed and get back to you. We'll so get you to have the made bottom good of this right away. <laughs> you have made good impression with my people, right? Oh, yes, definitely. Very good. Uh, you guys go out the front door. You are facing the back of uh, your inn. 
You turn around, the Cooper is right in front of you. You may go left, you may go right. A uh, couple doors down, it turns corners. Well, Gobi, I'll give you the choice since we went against you on the going through the back. Let's Gobi, go to the want... silver, silversmith. Uh, the silversmith, you know, is just around the corner on the left. Uh, let's go there. Okay. Go. Uh, you pass a vegetable market. Uh, a, a very gruff looking woman uh, says, Yay! Hey! Do you want to buy my stuff? What kind of stuff do you have? I have vegetables. You are scrawny. You need food. What kind of vegetables? And uh, points to Smook and goes, You're not scrawny. Uh, you don't eat that. You probably eat meat. I have lots of vegetables, strange vegetables, vegetables from my homeland. Here, try this, try this. And she gives you a little square thing with a toothpick through it. Uh, okay. Give me a con check. No. Oh, you got, you got some, you got oh, rotten tomatoes. Fuck. This is not going to be good. Uh, you got food poisoning. Yeah, that's a mm, three. That's not, that's not very good. <laughs> you had numb tongue. <laughs> Your tongue is now numb. You don't know why. It didn't taste that, that way. But it, it tasted like the banana juice that Dennis used to use. So oh. now, now your tongue is numb. Uh, minus one to any persuasion. Oh, mode. awesome. Because you talk like this now. Do you, you, no. I asked, uh, do you have any fruit? Fruit. Do I have to toot? No, I do not have to toot, lady. Fruit. What do you want? Fruit. What did you call me? <laughs> Get away! Get away! Uh, next four hours, you're going to pop like that. Awesome. Uh, she, she whisks you away. Uh, she looks smooka up and down, shakes her head. Back. Back. Uh, you guys go around the corner, and there at B2 is, oh, I'm sorry, uh, that's the pawn shop. My bad. The oh. silver the silver shop is directly across from the Coopers. Right. So, I had to talk about it because it's your fault. Yep. Okay. Uh, out, of, out, of, out of rules question, it's sure. a second wind. Regain 1d10 plus 3 hit points. How do I use second wind? Uh, whenever you want, you can do that, but you can only do it once per long rest. Okay. So all you do is uh, say, hey, I need to use my uh, second wind. You roll your D10, you get back your hit points. Okay. Uh, so do you guys want to go into the pawn shop first or go all the way around to the silver shop? Let's go to the pawn shop. Uh, Petrov's Pawn. This building displays signs of forced entry on the front door, uh, which is being repaired by Petrov. Uh, however, give me an investigation check, everybody. Shake it a little more this time. <laughs> that worked. Is that an investigation? Yep. 18, one eight. 13. Four. Oh, I got an 11. I got uh, a four. I can't nice see. Night. I oh, find man. nothing with a with a roll of a four. You guys are all concentrating on this guy fixing the door, but Shakes, being a rogue, you realize that that's ah, some pretty old damage. Who wants who wants to talk to Petrov, who is muttering under his breath in some kind of foreign language? Uh, uh, excuse me. Go ahead, Kelly. Go ahead. Excuse me, Mr. Petrov. Life. Yes. Uh, it looks like you uh, you had an issue last night. We heard there were thefts in the area. Yes. Uh, did you uh, were you up? Did you hear or see anything? No, I was asleep. You asleep? Uh, uh, this this. Uh, what did they kids. What did they take? They didn't take anything from my shop. They know better than to rob my shop. I will cut off their holy. Ah. What uh, what what happened to your door here? Ah, damn kids. Oh, there was, it was vandalized. There was, was a guy. Worried. Yeah, he, some guy with some kids. He just I was worried. I was worried when I saw these marks on your door that the thieves might have broken in and taken something. Why are you worried? This is not your shop. 
Well, because I heard other merchants were being robbed, and I wanted to make sure it haven't hadn't happened to you. That is because they will not chop off the. Okay, I will, I will. I will. I will. Okay. Insight check on him to see if he's telling us being truthful. Got it. That was uh, fifteen. Yes, he he appears to be telling the truth, and every time he goes to say something, he sees your holy symbol hanging around your neck so he goes ahead and becomes a little bit more yes. PC. Uh, what what nice. I'll say is uh, sir, I'm going to recommend that all your fellow merchants threaten to chop off people's hands too and then maybe no one will get robbed from anymore. Holy symbol. I didn't say hands. I said holy symbol. That is where my business has not been robbed. And who are you? Are you the cops? Probably means something else. We've uh we've been hired to investigate the who who burglaries. hired you Cooper the, the Cooper the the ambassador the whatever he who was. is who is Alderman Cooper? is it an Alderman <laughs> Mr or... uh, Mr Alt Alderson on um, Boris you know Boris yes Boris. I know Boris he is an ass so how much is he paying you three hundred probably yeah <laughs> less, less thing you'll pay is to not do it cheap bastard. You know what? I will give you 100 if you catch them. Oh, we, we will Each. gladly accept that offer, sir. Thank yes, you very much. Thank you very much. He looks at Smooka. You look like somebody who can cut the... Yes, I can, I, can, I, can, I can cause hurt and pain if I want to, yes. yes. Your face is hurting me. Now go, go away. Let's fix this <laughs> vandalism. Petrov, um, before I leave, I have to ask what kind of vandalism was being done here. That is a guy. He's a he's a he's a whitt whittler. He whitt he whittles. He th mm. he's got this little knife and he whittles and then he takes the sticks and he makes them. He puts them through potatoes and then he pretends to dance. He is stupid. And what does this have to do with your door? Obviously, he was whittling on my door. Probably looking to break in because he is. A... Can I say dumbass in front of you, cleric? <laughs> may say dumbass. whatever you wish. Oh, well, then the I want you to cut my, my testicles off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, okay. I, I, th I think we've gotten all the information we can out of this guy. So. <laughs> you bring me their heads, I will give you another 100 gold because I. Just their heads? I, I am a good man. Yeah. Oh, dice. You bring me the dice. You know, the dice. Mm -hmm. there oh, you yeah. got the you got the cleric there. She scares me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. Uh do we want to go over to the silver shop now or do we want to go to one of the businesses that was actually hit? Uh let's go to the silver shop and yeah. because okay, it's really that odd that like the silver idea. shop has not been hit. Because I I mean to me if I were a thief, I would probably steal from the silver shop first of all of these businesses because silver is money. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, as you go past, you go past uh, one, two, three more businesses, uh, including a tavern, uh, which has raucous behavior. Uh, the tavern sits right next to the silver shop. Mm -hmm. So pass on the uh silver shop or pass on the tavern i'm sorry yeah let's let's go to the right silver now. shop Sventon. information uh, then alcohol <laughs> Sventon the silversmith uh a colorful mural on the building ahead reveals that this is a silversmith shop think uh paul revere uh kind of look only uh not as good looking as paul revere kind of kind of ugly uh, the door is open and an older woman is sweeping out debris out the back door or out the door. Who is the first one to approach the door? See, Andrew has played with us before, so he knows I'm about to screw somebody over. <laughs> uh, uh, I'll check it out. Uh, Kelly, as <laughs> you approach the door, you see a broom whisk a lot of dirt out. Go ahead and give me an acrobatics check or get covered in dirt and dust. Oh, she's quite covered. That was a natty one. Oh, <laughs> head to toe, and you're pretty sure 
You have some silver fragments in your eye. Uh, so for the next uh, one hour, you're going to be Squinty McGee because uh, you've got stuff in your eye. You and Num Tongue can just hang out together. Uh, the lady looks at you and says, well, let's see. Maybe maybe she's a nice person. Uh, I'm going to get her to read my book. not a nice person. Uh, watch where you're going. Everybody sounds like the alderman, by the way, because I suck at voices. I suck uh, at voices, too. Don't worry about me it. Me as well. <laughs> So, so, Kelly, you're the first one there. You are now covered in dirt, debris, and silver fragments. You shine like a New Age vampire. <laughs> uh, can I check the door as well? Make sure there's any, see if there's any markings. Uh, yes, go ahead. Give me an investigation check. Uh, 16. There are no marks on the front door. Okay. I asked her how business has been. This is okay. Are you here to buy or to chat? Hey, uh, Gobi, do you know uh, that the spell that I'm clean stuff, press the digitation? <laughs> uh, ew, uh oh. No, no. Well, gotta have to clean yourself. You, that. <laughs> you guys are made quite the daunting party. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the lady wants to know what you want. Are you here to buy or here to chat? Well, I just was wondering why uh, all your neighbors have been burglarized and you haven't. It looks like you've got some beautiful things here. Uh, do you think uh, that uh, I, I'm surprised the thief hasn't taken some of your beautiful items here? You want to know why I have not been burglarized? Come here. Come close. Okay, come close. Come close. She gets real close, and you can smell the cabbage on her breath. Oh. It's just disheartening. And she goes, because I will kill them. Okay. That might dis dissuade them if they knew you were going to kill them, if you caught Everybody them. Everybody knows I will kill any thieves. Everybody. How? Everybody knows I how, killed thieves. How big is this person? Oh, she's short. She's like 4'11". Is, well, is she like a, is she a halfling or a dwarf or... She's Bulgarian. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Tiny mean lady. Have you got, she got the uh the headdress on. Angry. And of course, she's already put Kelly in a bad spot. <laughs> right, right. Okay. Of my, uh, what uh, what so, not made it don't into mess the with little old grandmothers. I, no. <laughs> I try to ask her. I want to see if she has necklaces. <laughs> Necklace? Uh, she looks at Shakes. What is her problem? She uh, ate a vegetable down the street. Uh, from that ditch Regina, probably. Uh, see, you got no tongue. You call all this. The way you want. Yeah, close. Stick the sweets next time. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got necklaces. I, I got that. Come on in. Uh, you guys enter in an equally diminutive man is behind uh, this counter. He's got a magnifying glass attached to his head. It looks like a gnomish contraption. Again, this man is uh, Bulgarian. Uh, you guys are the only different cultures in here. Uh, you can tell that there are a lot of things in this shop. None of them are under lock and key in this area. Behind the uh, front section where he is working, uh, there is a secured locker. Let's say, uh, Dwarf, can I check some of the items and see the kind of the handiwork of them? Sure. Uh, with disadvantage well, with my eyes? <laughs> yes, because you only have one eye. Give me an insight check, outside check, <laughs> at disadvantage. Uh, it's going to be a nine. Uh, you can still tell that uh, this guy does not do shoddy craftsmanship. He's got some good stuff in here. Not dwarf quality, but, you know. Not bad for the Bulgarian. Sir, we are out looking to investigate on these burglaries that have happened recently. You, have you heard anything? Are you talking to her or him? Him. Why, is that, uh, sir? why yes. Yes, I have. Uh, I have I have heard that my neighbors, poor bastards, uh, they are robbed. Uh, everybody robbed except me and... Uh, uh, 
the pawn, uh, Pavlov, he's Pavlov. kind of a jerk. Uh, it's actually Petrov, but he does not pronounce it correctly. Pavlov. Pavlov. He's like a dog. Uh, but we have not been burglarized or robbed or stolen from because uh, my wife is an angry woman. <laughs> Doesn't oh seem to be any more angrier than any of the other women so far, though. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, Gobi, uh, the lady takes you over, shows you a fine selection of necklaces, but keeps an eye on you. Actually, she keeps both eyes on you. The only one-eyed person is Kelly right now. Awesome. Uh, she's she's making sure that you aren't stealing, and you can tell that she has a dagger uh, in her robe. Awesome. You know, kind kind of like the the stupid cop movies where they open up their coat and the guns hanging out. Same thing right. with her, only it's a dagger, very thin stiletto dagger. Uh, so if you want to buy something, you may. Uh, Shakes. Kelly and Smuka, you are all talking to the gentleman proprietor, uh, and he offers you, uh, he pushes forward a small dish with mints in them. Uh, you can tell because it smells minty. Okay, I'll take I'll, one of those. I'll, mint? Yeah, I'll take a mint. He says, okay. please, please take I'll a mint. I'll pocket a mint. Thank you. I'll put one I'm, I'm going to try my mint. What happens? Uh, go ahead and give me a constitution check. Okay. Uh, Kelly, if you eat it, constitution. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She ate that first thing. So that's just that's, that's a just. A, is that a regular D twenty plus my constitution modifier? Yep. Fourteen. Uh, Smuka, you kind of like it. Uh, Kelly, you're kind of ambivalent. It's okay. Uh, it's not the greatest mint you've ever had. Uh, shakes, yours is going to be covered in lint. <laughs> uh, he, he notices For later. that. He shakes, he notices that you don't take it. He pushes forward another dish and goes, would you like summer sausage instead? Ooh. And he's got like little cocktail weenies there. Uh, don't mind if I do. Go ahead. I, I appreciate the law. Oh, can I have a cocktail weenie, please? Didn't you just have a mint? Oh, oh, it's... Oh, it's one per person. Okay. Oh, no, you know what? I, I like you. You go ahead. My wife was mean. I could overhear you. Uh, if you okay. guys want a summer I, sausage, uh, okay. you go ahead. I, uh, I'll, ta- I'll take a cocktail wiener as well, then. Shakes and Smooker, are you going to eat it? Yes. Yes. Con check. Con check again it is. Hey, that's a 21. You love this. This that's is delicious. delicious. Yeah, this is great. Ooh, I only rolled a nine. Uh, you have a Band-Aid on yours. <laughs> yeah. Oops. I throw it away. <laughs> well, that's rude. I'll eat it. You know what? Smooka, roll a d20 for me, and don't add any modifiers. Just a straight-up d20. You got it. 16. You throw it right out the door, which is good, because if you would have hit the old lady, she would have had a field day with you. I know. I know. All right. See, see, you ate the mint. Uh, you eat sausage first, then you eat the mint. You don't. You don't yeah. eat. Oh, actually. I did it in the wrong order. Right. You did okay. it in the wrong I'm, order. Now I pull out mine and I eat the mint. There you go. And you know what? With your uh, previous <laughs> roll, you got. Oh, it. I see a cat has appeared. Oh, it's not a proper Zoom session until <laughs> a cat's appeared. Please, or dogs, or. Or a dog, yes. Okay. Uh, any other questions for the owner? So Anything I... you can offer if we were to find these burglars? I don't care whether you find the burglars. My wife might care. I do. I do not care. I do not live in fear. Some people live in fear. I do not live in fear. They come in here. They get what they have come. Well, I find a necklace that has. Uh, an image of my deity on it to buy from the lady. Uh, D12 against me. As long as I don't have to talk. Seven. Hey, uh, you find one, uh, and then you realize it's not your deity. Aww. Oh. So I ask her. <laughs> Shakes, Kelly, and Smooko, while you guys are dealing with the cocktail weenies, uh, the old battle axe screams over her husband and says, Hey, this lady, she wants to change the deity. Can you change the deity? Yes, dear. I can change the deity. 
Uh, pardon me. I must do what no the wife problem. asks. Happy wife, happy life. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Uh, he comes over, grabs well. the necklace that you're looking at, Gobi, and says, it will be ready in, uh, uh, I don't know, give me, give me four hours. It will be ready. It's weird that you worship a deity. You look like a, what, a wizard. Uh, any other questions for uh, the Silversmith twins? None at all. No. Why don't, any... we, why don't we try hitting some of the businesses that uh, were stolen from? It's a good idea. Our way back. Uh, the Silversmith uh, says, do you want to go through the back? Wouldn't they get a little upset if we came in their back door? They might think we are thieves. It's a tavern. They do not care. The only people in there are Junta, and I don't think they care about you. I go. Yeah, let's go through the back. I need a drink. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you guys go in. You know that the tavern was right there. You go around the corner. There's an individual currently urinating on the back wall. Uh, he appears to be Bulgarian. Uh, and then he slides down. <laughs> Uh, face down into the muddy dirt. Awesome. Uh, you guys can step over him. The back door is wide open. Uh, there is uh, a little bit of music, kind of a woodwind uh, playing, uh, and it's kind of dark and dim inside. Who wants to go in first? I'll go Hold in on. first. This Hold on. Let me see. I have, I have dark vision. I can go in first. It's not dark. It's just dim. So, oh, okay. I'll go in first. Uh, investigation check. Hey. Uh, no, that's a five. Fair enough. You walk in, uh, the, uh, smell of vomit and ale fill your nostrils, as does something that you have not smelled before. Give me a con check. All right. This one's about to go to dice jail. That is a six. Uh, it's something fried, but you do not care for it. Hmm. I just ate that summer sausage, too. Okay, did Shades just go into <clears throat> the tavern? Mm -hmm. I'm going to follow him. Who's next, Kelly or Gobi? Uh, you three, oh, go ahead and, <laughs> you, you three go ahead and roll con checks. Uh, see what you think of the smell. Okay. I think I love it. It's uh, dirty 20. Oh, yeah, you'll love it. <laughs> 21. Nice. Smooka likes it. Uh, eight. Yeah, Gobi and Shakes, you do not much care for the uh, blooming onion smell going uh, on here at the tavern. Uh, but, you know, that happens. Uh, as you guys get in, uh, it's a sparse, sparse crowd here, uh, and you aren't sure, but this place looks like a great hideaway. Uh, mostly That's because just called like the used to make. Uh, I, I'm, I'm going to go up to the bar uh, and uh, get the barkeep's attention and order a bloomin' onion and an ale. Uh, give me a perception check, Smooka. You got it. Twenty-one again. Uh, as you walk up there and order. Uh, you can tell that the barkeep is a little bit uh, nonplussed by your kind being in here, being, being a neighborhood bar. Uh, but he shakes his head, asks for money. I pay him. How much is it? Uh, it's a couple copper. Okay. Uh, he takes the money, uh, gruffly yells to the cook in the back uh, what you want, uh, looks at you three, spits in a mug, and is cleaning it out. Um, Gobi, Shakes, and Kelly, what do you want to do? I'll have uh, the, uh, your uh, sample of your local ale and um, another one of those um, onions that smells just like Nana used to make. You got money too? I do. Another order. Grabs a second mug. Two no things for me. I just had some of sausage. Um, we're here to uh, talk about the burglaries. Why? Did you do it? No, that would have made it a lot easier for us to figure it out, though. 
Oh, trying to figure you, out who you're a it. comedian. That is great. <laughs> you, Friday nights are open mic night. Uh, Mike is the guy who runs the open show. <laughs> ah. I love it. Uh, Kelly shakes and how Dodie. do you open Mike? <laughs> you would have to ask his wife. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly shakes and Gobi, give me perception checks. Yeah, that's much better. Uh, yeah. Sixteen. It's a seventeen. Nineteen. Uh, you three notice that Smuka feels right at home in this place, uh, and maybe had a slight difference of opinion with the bartender. You three noticed uh, some. Uh, dubious looking dudes in the corner kind of eyeballing you their faces are all tattooed up uh with strange sigils uh they seem to take a specific entrance in you uh one of them has a knife and he's giving himself a haircut at the table does and he just have grease skinning. no he doesn't have grease he's got some kind of like magic circle protection icon yes i say, could i do an arcana check on that you may indeed is it Vin Diesel? Okay, that's a 19. Yeah, you, this is an underworld symbol. So are they Bulgarian? Oh, oh yeah, they look like everybody from the else. Underworld. I look at the bartender and go, what's up with those guys? They are Duka. <laughs> Duka? You don't know who Junta is? Junta. Uh, Junta, they collect money to make sure we are safe. Mm. Uh, Mafia. Pay from what? And if they don't... You talk like my sister. Pay uh, <laughs> from what? So if they if they uh, pay, then um, nothing happens to the business, I assume. I yeah, grab, except I got burglarized. I grab paper. Yeah, they say they're not doing a good job, safe are they? from what? Oh, uh, they are safe from crime. Uh, no, they are not doing a good job, but I will not tell them that because they are mean. At that time, the guy with the shaved skull comes over and looks at three. Kelly. Hey, sister. You here for a good time? <laughs> okay. I'm going to interview. Uh, I, I don't think we're thinking of the same good time. If your good time is helping find a um, crim stopping the crimes, then I would be in for that. But I'm thinking we're talking sister, about two different sister, things. You do not need to worry about the crime. We've got the crime handled. You do not have to worry about it. <laughs> okay, um, I, uh, Kelly is a, uh, one of my party, and I don't take kindly to that. Maybe the, you should pay okay. for that. Uh, maybe you'll pay us to help you for the with the uh, take oh, okay. care of the crime. Okay. I, I, I'll, I'll wait. I'll hold my action then. See, see uh, what the reaction is. The, the bartender taps the mugs for you two, uh, trying to break the tension. Give me a perception check. So good. That's uh, a uh, seventeen. Smoke up perception check. Oh, yeah, you got it. Hold on. Um, Kelly, you is... noticed that one of the mugs that he's giving you is the one that he was cleaning out. I got I got a 12. Then in worse store from bars, I'm sure. Yeah. Smooka, you also noticed. That looks like the one he was just spitting in, but yeah, he was cleaning it up. <laughs> uh, Kelly, uh, fine. the bald guy, uh, we do not need your help, sister. Perhaps you should go find Shrine. Maybe pray for inspiration. I am going to... We'll see uh, who's inspired when we catch the criminals. First. Luca, what are you doing? I'm saying that I think you, you're being rude to my friend and you should apologize. Intimidation. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Schmeck. Oh, I rolled a two. I did not intimidate this guy. He laughs at you. Uh, and his friends stand up and slowly walk over mm -hmm. and he looks at you smook and goes uh, my friend you're not part of this conversation you are being rude you owe this lady an apology you should be nicer uh kelly uh who do you think owes who an apology i think i can handle this myself all but, right um, both of you all right 
I back. I, he, uh, he I asked a question. I, I told him no. He took no as an answer. All uh, right. Six, I will go back doing? to my bar stool then. <laughs> oh, you were right there. All you had to do is turn around. You guys are both at the bar stool. Okay. Shakes, Shakes, what are you doing? I look at the man. I say, you say you're doing your job just fine, but past three nights certainly aren't telling that story. What do you know? I know you talk too much. I know you don't he do does your job. That. How do you know that? Maybe we have already resolved the problem. You notice that some buildings have not been broken into. Not nearly enough, haven't. Did oh, they pay you... a little more or something? Everybody pays the same amount. We do not hold grudges here. Are you insinuating that we are responsible for this? I'm insinuating you're not doing your job. Oh. And that's why we're here. Oh, well, good luck, my friend. You are a copper top kind of guy. Sure. He, he turns to the two dudes behind him. He says something in a low tone. Uh, Shakes, you're the only rogue. Uh, give me an intelligence check. Let's see if you understand this dialect of the Thieves Guild. Uh, probably not. That's a nine. Uh, you catch words like backstab, smartass, uh, and tall guy. <laughs> I don't, dis I say back in these can, I don't disagree at all. Well, what kind of dialect is that? Where are you from, person? <laughs> Not from here. Duh. <laughs> like a really shitty John Wick sequel right now. <laughs> <laughs> so is there blooming onions up yet or what? Oh yeah, they they oh. reap to high heaven for you and Shake. Oh, uh I uh, if are there any tables that are unoccupied in this bar? Oh yeah, they're, they're sparse. It's sparsely populated. I am going to take my ale and my blooming onion to an empty table and just sit there feed at the bar where I might hear more. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Smooko, one of the uh, henchmen come walking over. Can I help you? Try the shakes. This tastes just like Nana used to make. Yeah, you can help me. Uh, how about we make wager? All right. What sort of wager? See, see how nimble your fingers are, friend. All right. Because how much you got? Uh, how much you want to wager? I will go find gold with you. Sounds sounds about right. So are you in? I'm in. He's in. Uh, the other one takes a dagger out and flicks it. And it lands boing, right in between you on the table. The guy says, you want to go first or you want me to? You go ahead. He pulls the dagger out, puts his hand down on it, and... <laughs> 18. Not uh -oh. a nick. Uh, and it takes him, D10, nine seconds. Okay, friend. Beat that. <laughs> is that a dex check? That is an acrobatics check. Okay, same thing. 17. So? Well, did you hear? I rolled a 17. Oh, no, I didn't hear that. Uh, now roll a <laughs> d10. You got it. Eight. A uh, little bit faster, a little bit better. Uh, Shakes in Thieves Camp. Uh, the two lackeys are talking something about trickery, ripping me off, something like that. Uh, Smooka, the guy looks at him, picks up the dagger. You're good this time. Uh, hands you over five gold pieces. Okay. walks away he returns to his table henchman number two returns to the table 
They're talking in hushed tones. Shakes, you will not be able to hear them. Kelly, uh, your newfound friend is sitting next to you at the bar, uh, orders an ale and tells him, Ashka. Uh, Shakes, you know that that word means clean. <laughs> nice. Uh, uh, no, did, did, did I win? I won five gold, right? Correct. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Yeah. So Shakes, uh, apparently Ashka is the operative word here if you want to buy a drink. Mm. Uh, the bartender uh, does not spit or clean it. He gives him it. So, sister, do you yes. think I am not doing my job? You seem wise. Uh, well, we're new to the investigation, so I'm not sure. Perhaps you just haven't had a chance to um, the back door figure it out. Open. Uh, three urchins run in and begin to circle around the tables, playing tag. The table that they have chosen is Smooka's. Smooka, D12 against me. You got it. Four. Okay, hold on, hold on. D12. Eleven. Uh, the child bangs into you, but you do not spill your drink. Well, oh, sorry, sorry, sir, sorry. Are you okay? No, no, you're, 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 you're okay. It was just an accident. Continue playing. I stick out my quarter staff and trip them. Oh, very nice. Oh, uh, oh, 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 oh. Uh, Kelly, That's evil. Oh. Kelly, your friend at the bar laughs uproariously. Uh, <laughs> the two henchmen uh, don't understand the joke. Shakes, perception at advantage, please. Oh, with advantage. Oh, geez. I'm going to throw all my dice away. Uh, nine. Fair enough. Uh, you also get a chuckle out of the kid who hits the deck. Uh, they grab their knee in pain. <sighs> Maybe the cleric should heal one of these kids. There's no blood. Okay, all right. No blood, no foul. No, no, yeah. no cool. cool. Must have been an accident. Uh, the three kids kind of wander off. Everybody give me perception checks. Okay. 14. Uh, 16. 23. I rolled a natural 20. Nice. 10. <clears throat> All right, Gobi, you don't see it. Shakes, uh, you notice that the underworld figure is uproariously laughing now. Kelly and Smooka, you notice that the kid is limping off, looking at Smooka, shaking their hand. Uh, Shakes, the underworld figure... Grabs his mug. Looks like you are prime investigator. I will take my leave. Pretty lady, you have a good evening. He goes over and he sits with the other two henchmen. And I go, dumbass. Oh. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> uh, so I have Shake At Kelly. Smuka. <laughs> dumbass. Kids are rather... Uh... <laughs> Kids are rather um, <laughs> into accidents around here. Uh, those kids, they, they're all over the place. Ah. God damn it. Yes? All right, dumbass on the paper and go. Ah, there you go. Spook is too busy eating his blooming onion. Kelly, uh, the blooming onion tastes really good. Uh, Shakes, you aren't quite sure what to make of the comment, but Oh, well, uh, you guys can stay here. With being that's the second accident, uh, Kelly's going to actually check her possessions and make sure nothing's yeah, got, missing. Yeah, you got all your stuff. Okay. Just because it's the second kid that's kind of ran into us. Smook sure. can figure out his own stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Smook is going to be light five gold. He doesn't know it yet. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Hmm? Had Shakes had a better roll, he would have spotted the... Uh, in where that was going. Yeah. Uh, but yes. Uh, that didn't guys... even occur to me. <laughs> you, guys, you guys can finish your meal, then what do you want to do? Maybe we should ask some of the shopkeepers who've been burglarized. Yep. You want to go out the front or out the back? 
Uh, yeah. If we're going to go into the shops, I would suggest the front, just because, like I said, yeah, I agree. you usually don't go into shops through the back unless you really know the shopkeeps. Exactly. <laughs> right, around, right around the corner, as you passed it, was a uh, weaver. They're a merchant. Okay. Let's go in there, then. Uh, you go in there, and it's Hugo's Weaves. Uh, it is a rug shop. Uh, Shakes, give me your or give me your investigation check. Hey, twenty. Uh, front door's fine. Nice. It's old, but it's fine. Who steals from a rug shop? Empty. I don't know. You got well, maybe you maybe know. they stole uh, you know, some of the cash, you know, that he was using to make change or something. Yeah, yeah. maybe they keep their cash on premises. Mm -hmm. I head in, I approach the shopkeeper and say, hey, what's been missing? Pardon? Uh, they say there's been thefts around here? Yes, I, I have been a victim of theft. Uh, what have they taken? A circular rug. A circular rug. Yes, yeah, about like this. I was making it for somebody. Uh, what's the uh, value of the rug uh, if you were to sell it? Oh, well, they paid me 25 gold. So 25 gold. Who okay. had, you... who had it for? Did your friend suffer a head injury? <laughs> I had one of those vegetables down the street. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, she's a she have stuck to sweets. Sweets are always for? better. Oh, uh, it, it is for the owner of the pawn shop. Huh. Kelly, your uh, silver iodine is uh, released now. Okay. You have both eyes. Yeah. So, so just the circular rug? Because apparently this has been happening for a few days and you just had the one thing missing? Just the one thing. I sleep with my cash box upstairs. Smart. Mm. And I assume that you... um. Pay the local um Jumpa what they ask. Yes. Okay. Hmm. And I say, and you're okay with that? I do not like it, but uh, until last night, I was fine. The Junta has promised a swift vengeance. I'm sure they have. Do you have any ideas who it might? Oh, I know. Um, how did they get into your shop? Through the back. Do you mind if I look at the door? Are you police? We are investigating this, yes. If you're police, you've got to tell me. <laughs> and, uh, not with the, them per se. We're just trying to figure out who does uh, did this and help out the local shops. He waves his hand and leads you to the back shop. Uh, Private investigators. Nice. Magnum. Uh, you guys noticed that this is a like you said, who the hell steals from a weaver shop? Uh, there's, it's just from rugs. There's nothing of high value here. Uh, Shakes, uh, he shows you the back door, and it has been jimmied, uh, possibly with a dagger. Go ahead and give me an investigation check. Dagger. Oh, yeah. 23. Not a professional. Like a thin dagger or a thick dagger? It's almost like it's a tool, like a pry bar or a screwdriver, a flathead. Okay. Tricks of the trade. Uh, from what you can <laughs> tell, early stages, maybe? Not a very yep. good burglar. All right. Well, that's something to go on. Can I help you? Would you like to buy something? Maybe once we solve this and we have a few coin in our pockets, we'll be more than happy to... I give you ten percent discount. You solve this. Hmm. All right. That would be lovely. Writing all this down. Perhaps we get a new uh, prayer mat. Uh, Shakes, you're the one at the back door. Give me a perception check. And we're back to the bad rolls. That is a three. Uh, you see, the kids have returned to playing around in the area. Uh, the normal kids, you know, the ones that Smook has scared the shit out of. Uh, <laughs> you don't see the one who robbed them, uh, but the mothers have returned to doing their laundry. Uh, they're all around a cistern over by the Cooper's place. Uh, there's a small fountain over to this side next to the pawn shop. Uh, 
the interior courtyard is all dirt because it's been trodden on uh, for years. Other than that, uh, life seems to have returned to normal inside the courtyard. Uh, Gobi, Kelly, and Smuka, you are still inside the shop. Uh, he's a good weaver, but he steals a rug. Oh, uh, yeah. Maybe we should check out some of the other shopkeeps. Yeah, and also, I don't know if it'd be anything to go on, but they said that the rug that was stolen was something that um, the pawn shop owner was trying to have made. So perhaps there'd be... Um, Maybe he was trying to purchase things from other shops. Maybe that it might not be anything, but it wouldn't hurt to ask. Sure. Are you asking him or you want to go talk to the other? No, other shops. <laughs> Just a suggestion <laughs> to the group. Front I door think it's a good door. suggestion. Yeah, I agree. Let's go through the back door. Okay. Shakes, Shakes do you point out the damage to him? Or I do. Keep it to yourself? Okay. I mean, just in general, like, hey, just look. <laughs> okay, you got it. You guys go out into the uh, interior courtyard, Gobi, Kelly, and Spooka. Give me uh, perception checks. All right. Can't roll worse than I did. Uh, dirty 20. 15. 13. Uh, Spooka, you notice the lady, the mom who you intimidated, kind of does this to you. Uh, Gobi, you notice that the laundry, the uh, rope holding up the laundry has snapped, so all the laundry has gone down into the dirt. Uh, the mothers are blaming the children for running around. Kelly, you notice that everybody gets water from the cistern, but there's a well right there. Uh, I'm going to offer to mend the woman's uh, clothesline for her. I wonder why they're using the cistern if there's a well. Uh, okay, Spooka, go over and give me a charisma check. Oh, okay. I, I'm going to fail this. I got a minus one. Hold on. Yeah, I got a two. I, I blew that. <laughs> Every The mothers grab their children and run for the hills because clearly you're going to cut whooping some ass. The lady who gave you the eye really takes off running. The courtyard is clear. Uh, the laundry is still in the dirt. So I, I check I, out I the well, up, I and I guess you're clear the, to do so. I go ahead and I repair the line anyway. Fair enough. Uh, Kelly, go ahead and give me an investigation check. Okay. So that's a five. <laughs> uh, the well doesn't seem to have any water in it. That's why. It's more of okay. a fountain. It's a, a decorative fountain, you know, like a, a horse trough in front, and then uh, we'll call it a cherub. Uh, but the cherub is not spitting or peeing out water. It, it's apparently broken is what the answer is. Ah. So, Smuka, uh, I don't know. Give me a straight up D20. Let's see if you successfully fix the clothesline. Eighteen. I think I fixed the clothesline. You fixed the clothesline. Uh, you shaken, shook the dirt off the clothing. Uh, you can see people looking out of their doors, uh, making sure that you don't ruin the laundry. Shakes. What do you want to be doing? Um, I want to go to the next building and check out their back door before we go in and talk to them. Sure. Uh, it is also damaged. Same way. Same way. Okay. Roby, what are you doing? So, all of the back doors in the courtyard are damaged. So they might be coming from another business. Steve. Or possibly the tavern, because... You are correct. All of the back doors that you check, with the exception of the silversmith and the pawn shop, are damaged in a similar fashion. And somebody's dog in town is just leaving out a bracket. Yep. That would be Steve, the NPC. <laughs> uh, Smuka, after successfully fixing it, I am your hero. <laughs> uh, the, uh, there's a well you could fix if you'd like. <laughs> yeah, there's that. Uh, the, the few women, not this one, uh, the other tentatively thank you and tend to their laundry 
taking it over to the big well in the corner. The big well in the corner is is large and newer. Okay. Well, should we check uh, another business? Talk to some people? Yes. Sure. The business in between the uh, tavern and the pawn shop where the old well is, uh, is present. It looks like it's some kind of uh, trinket shop, like crystal trinkets. Okay. I like, go in and I go in and start investigating the, the, the trinkets. Can I help you? Oh, I'm just browsing. Do you always come through the back door? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't realize that was bad etiquette. Who are you? Why are you here? We've been hired to look into uh, the thefts that have been occurring around here. I've been thefted. Can we ask what was taken? Yes. Uh, what was taken? A crystal hummingbird. <laughs> ah, uh, did you was ask this... a question? I answered your question. <laughs> That's very um, nice of you. Uh, what was there anybody in particular who had um, wanted you to make the hummingbird? No, not make. The uh, there was a person here a few days ago uh, called himself Mage of Merkin. He does not look like a wizard. He he took an interest in it. I had to throw him out. He was paying an ass. How much does a crystal hummingbird go for? Two gold. Okay. You want you want one? Sure. Well, I will make you one. Okay. Come um, back. Give me uh one day. Thank you very you much. Uh the person who um asked uh, to have the hummingbird made. Uh, what did he or uh, does, what did the person who uh, wanted the hummingbird look like? Besides my friend here, of course. <laughs> uh, he didn't look like her. He uh, he, uh, he he had open vest, lot of hair, kind of reminded me of my uncle. Uh, but he had wild hat with ostrich feather in it. Looked stupid, and he had uh, what do you call them? Uh, banjo on his back. Mm-hmm. And this no, doesn't describe the, the pawn shop the guy. I'm sorry. This is different description than the pawn shop guy. Correct. Okay. <laughs> um, question. Uh, do you do I need to pay up front for the crystal bird, or do I give it to you when it's done? You pay half now. Okay. I reach in to uh, pick out a gold piece, and I that's I guess what I discovered. I'm five gold short. Correct. Cor correct. Okay, I'm gonna get those damn kids. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, they're driving around in a van called the Mystery Machine. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I'll I'll look out for a talking dog. That that that. Right, there you go. That'll be the. Yeah. So, uh, you got that? Hmm. Really, no obvious connection there. <laughs> what other stores no. in the area? Uh, and two the, gold's not a lot of for something to steal to break in just to steal, either. Nope. Uh, there's the businesses on the far side. You guys haven't investigated those. Okay, let's go over there. Yeah. Go to the Gary Larson quarter. Uh, exactly. Each of, each of these doors show signs of forced entry. All similar, not all exact. Uh, uh -huh. Shakes will notice that specifically, it appears at least two, possibly three different tools have been used on these doors. Uh, these businesses are all very common uh, structures, not a big deal. Each of the uh, vendors that you discuss uh, offer the same gruff approach. Who are you? You think you cop, what are you doing? Uh, I don't know. Every item that was taken was negligible mm. one business is different this business is a music store uh this business owner is a female uh a better looking bulgarian but still bulgarian she points out that she had two items taken one was a harmonica 
Thank God. I could not get rid of that thing. It is cursed. <laughs> the other was loot strings. I think someone's just trying to set up a, a new uh, folk band here. Literally. All the other businesses you talked to, mundane items were taken. Hmm. Oh, but we're out of. Uh, um, Maybe oh. she made some. Uh, they made somebody angry, and except for the two shops, because they all have a common enemy. Not that you've been able to piece together. What do you got, Smuka? Well, I'm wondering if, since his his business wasn't burglarized, if it might be the pawn shop, because these are all items that could be pawned. True. Would you like but, to go check the pawn shop for those items? Yeah, we could try that, sure. Shop. I had a couple questions for him. Sure. Uh, back door or front door? Back door. Okay. Uh, Shakes, investigation. 16. You see signs that entry was attempted, but not completed. Uh, you guys go in the back door. There's Petrov cleaning up the items. Did you solve the Did you solve the crime? Do I not know yet, is but what it is? We're working on it. I assure you, we're working on it. Well, you're working on my back door right now. What are you doing? Is that code? Yes, that is code. <laughs> it is a Bulgarian haircut. I, it, it, I will explain later. <laughs> Petra, do you, uh, in the past few days, have you had any new items brought in to, uh, have to I, pawn? Have items in every day. Uh, every day, new day in my business. Uh, hummingbird? What are you looking for? A hummingbird? I do not deal with animals. A crystal one. Hmm. Can we see them? Uh, you, you've gone four hours now. You can talk. Oh, thank God. Um, <laughs> Crystal Hummingbird. I do not... Uh, Jimmy! Jimmy! Uh, teenage boy comes wandered by stupid haircut. Uh, yes, Dad. Uh, do, do you have a, a Crystal uh, Hummingbird? No. How about a round rug? Round the rug. Uh, I commissioned the weaver. He said it got stolen. Now I'm pieced. Why did you commission it? It was pretty. But what were you going to do with it? Oh, uh, put it at the bed. In the winter, my feet, they get cold. <laughs> so when I climb out of bed, it, it's nice. The rug was very thick. Oh. It would keep the cold off. I have uh, uh, the, the, the problems with the joints. No other problems. <laughs> There's problems with the joint. Okay. Uh, enough. Maybe to... I could um send them some medicine over for that. Sure. Can you cure arthritis? Or is that a third level spell? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. She knows medicine, maybe some herbs or, you know, whatever, however you make Ben Gay and D&D. &D. <laughs> sure. <laughs> you, you, you could try that out. <laughs> Just make sure it's not preparation G. That did not work for me. That made things worse. Uh, it might they... have. If I rolled an eight just out of curiosity. Preparation <laughs> C. And now I have rash. Great. Maybe I grow another toe. <laughs> uh, yeah, he does, he does not have any of the items that you guys have discovered that have been missing. Hmm. Not a one. And he's pissed that his rug got taken. And he's really pissed that Kelly just gave him itching powder. And is now I now I have no I, I swear that's I've got my... <laughs> <laughs> Oh wait, I wasn't supposed to put the Isocara in, in there. I was supposed to use the um I don't know peppermint. Karen. Of peppermint. Karen's not allowed in shop, they cause problems. <laughs> they do. So yeah, uh I'll tell you outright, you're batting zero at the pawn shop. Yeah. We're batting zero at everything. Yeah. Maybe we should just go uh, fight the guys in the tavern. Uh, I have a better, <laughs> I have a better suggestion. Let's, uh, let's wait till nightfall. Oh, and right. What time is it? Take, yeah, take three hour shifts Better's. and see should if. Should probably do that anyway. Yeah. Can do that. They tried to, uh, 
And actually, why don't we just hide instead of like picking a shop? Why don't we just hide in the back of the court shop yard if there seems like there's a place we could hide? Sure. Oh. As uh, as the sun sets, you guys get dinner. You're looking around. Uh, the kids are tired from being jackasses all day long. Uh, the parents come over with a bucket, pour it over their kid, get him cleaned up. Same spot, wow. big mud hole right there. Oh. Uh, but then as night begins to fall, uh, everybody goes to their respective homes. Uh, there are plenty of shadows in here because it is a closed off interior courtyard. Uh, but you guys are going to have to give me stealth rolls, please. Oh, uh, can, can we take a five minute break right quick? Sure, go ahead. Okay. Uh, Kelly, go ahead and give us a plug to uh, your podcast and the conventions while Smooka. Uh, we um, do not currently have a podcast, although we're working on it, but I'm um, Sentinel's Keep um, Gaming Society. Uh, you can find that on Facebook. Um, and um, we do, we work with um, Sci-Fi Valley Con. Uh, we do a lot of stuff for the extra, for Extra Life, uh, different conventions in the area, although we do not do online at the moment, and a lot of stuff because of COVID has gone online. <laughs> <laughs> so. Testify. Yeah. Uh, Andrew, you want to give another shout out to the dice, even though you, you got the curse? I mean, I, apparently they gave me the worst one in the group, but uh, dots RPG, D O T S RPG dot org. They work with um, accessibility and, and tabletop role playing. They, uh, particularly right now for blind uh, players. They have Braille dice. They're working through all the different uh, modules and all the different D&D books to switch them over into Braille as well. Nice. Make the game more accessible. Yep. That works real well. Uh, I will go ahead and pitch Oddfish Games. Uh, they have their Kickstarter for how to RPG with your cat uh, just starting uh, this week. I have actually gotten to play it. I had a good time. I think you will too. But go ahead and check out their Kickstarter page. Uh, it is oddfishgames.com. Smooka, you're back. So as you guys uh, check for a reasonable location to hide within this inner courtyard, everybody go ahead and give me stealth, stealth rolls, please. Oh, jeez. Wait a minute. It says disadvantage here, even though I have a plus one. Does that mean I'm at disadvantage to stealth, even if I have a plus one? Yes, because you're loud and clang around in your armor. Hey, performer you're wearing? Rogue nope. rolled I, a nine. Eighteen. I but uh I tripped over something because I rolled an eight. I got so. a thir I got a thirteen on disadvantage. Puka <laughs> shakes. You, you think you're hidden. You, you, you know, you're hiding in the shadows. Gobi, you've made yourself scarce. You know you're hidden. Duh, uh, half elf. Kelly, you have put your foot in that damn bucket that they were using to water <laughs> the kids, and now you're wandering around like you got a peg leg. So go ahead and give me a dexterity to shake that thing off. Try and roll higher, because I will punish you if you roll too low. Uh, straight dexterity would be a 15. Yep, you shake it off, and it rolls across the yard. Uh, not through anybody's window, not striking them while they are eating. So you are safe. Uh, a few hours pass, two to be exact. Everybody roll me a perception check. 16. I'm paying attention for barrels. I only got a seven, or buckets, I only got a seven. I got a 12. 18. Uh, Gobi shakes. You hear a scraping noise. It's coming from over by the pawn shop and the and the crystal hummingbird place. Uh, Shakes and Gobi, do you have dark vision? I yes. do not as a human. Oh, okay. I do. I have uh, I have dark vision. Yeah, but you got twelve. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> uh, Gobi, uh, the dark vision. You notice an irregularity at the broken well. Uh, Shakes, Kelly, and Smooka are all close by if you want to tell them that. Yes, I say, hey, psst, guys, I see something over by the well. Oh, uh, do you think we should go and investigate? As you guys watch, you notice the well 
moves, uh, shakes. You don't know that the well's moving. <laughs> All you the can wells? see are little torch light inside the building or oil <laughs> lamps inside the building. Kelly, Smuka, and Gobi notices that the well is moving to one side. Mm. Nice. I Wells move? That's a hidden entrance. Oh. Makes more sense than what I was thinking. Shakes, Shakes is like, what? What, what do you what see? That? What, what do you see? <laughs> what? Uh, should we go and investigate? Secret entrance at the well. We should wait and uh, and um, get a vantage on whoever comes out of the well. Okay. Uh, Kelly, give me a D4. One is really good. Three is not so great. All right, D4. Uh, one. The angle that you have chosen is right up against the tavern and the crystal shop. The well is moving a scant 12 feet away from you. You are almost on top of this thing. Uh, you guys remain silent you, for the most part, and you watch as the well moves and a head pops out of the hole below it. Uh, the head moves around. It's clear, is what you hear, uh, only in Bulgarian. It, it, it's clear. Uh, a leaf figure pops out, uh, child size-ish, uh, uh, followed by another, followed by another. And three of these individuals are moving slowly. Two of them are going to the pawn shop. One appears to be going to the silver shop. You guys are up against the wall in the corner, making yourself slim. What do you want to do? Uh, do, um... Get them, Ray! Pull person yeah, no, on no, the no, no. closest one no. as soon as they um, get into range. Oh, uh, you're in I, range. Uh, I, uh, I want to know, do I see this with my 12 or not? Oh, yeah. Now everybody sees it. But let's go initiative to see who does all right first. that's that's just okay that's just d20 push initiative bonus right yes okay. it'll be a while before i hold anybody i got 19. six 19 six what was your shakes 20 20 holy shit 22 oh, when it matters 22 uh goby what do you want to do first with a 22 Wait, hold on. shakes was it a nap 20 no. Okay. Nobi, what do you want to do first? You got three what appear to be maybe urchins running around. I want to... Let me see what the moon phase is. <laughs> Quarter moon. Uh, Shakes, you will have limited visibility. What does minor illusion do? Uh, you can create an illusion, and then I will get a saving throw to see if I believe what it is. So it, you can create the illusion of a rabid dog chasing you, uh, an angry Bulgarian woman with a frying pan. <laughs> but Things. all three people are going in different directions, right? Two are going towards the pawn shop. One is going towards the silver shop. Okay, so I do a minor illusion towards the two. Okay. What are you going to do? Um, their mothers are coming to kick their ass. Uh, four to two. Uh, they uh, head towards the well opening, but not before Shakes would get his opportunity to do something. Awesome. Uh, uh, would I be an area of the of the well? They split off like this. You guys are back here. So you guys have full range of motion on all three. Okay. Their perception was worse than yours. I will. You said the two were heading back toward the well? Yes. As if they were running away. They I will head spun around, and that's where they appear to be headed. Okay. I will head to the well to <clears throat> head them off. Okay. And then I will hold an attack until they try to attack me. Fair enough. Smuka, you had the 19. You also get to react before I do. Uh, could I do 
if I wanted to do a running tackle, uh, how many of these kids, considering how big I am and how small they are, how many of these kids could I tackle? Uh, that would be a die roll checking on your dexterity roll. Uh, because okay, if it's so crappy, it, so you want you'll me to, get shakes. <laughs> okay, uh, so you want me to just roll my, uh, a dex save that, or a dex uh, roll? Dex attack, yes. Dex attack. D20 plus your dex. 18. Uh, Smooka leaps. Odd one, even two. Nat 20. Uh, shakes, you jump in front of the well. <laughs> A dark figure leaps forward and tackles two children. You feel you feel big? You feel like a big man, do you? Yeah. Back on kids. Uh the other one, let's see if they hear it. Uh they <laughs> turn around and freeze against the wall. Uh that is the one at the silver shop. Uh the other two are gonna try and grapple out from Smooka's grip. Uh, and they are not going to even come close with those rolls. Kelly, uh, Smooka has tackled two uh, before they could reach Shakes. The third one is over at the shop. There's two Bulgarian women screaming in the middle of the courtyard that just freaking appeared that you aren't really sure how. <laughs> okay. They look wow. an awful lot like the numb tongue lady, too. Okay, so the kids have um, ran off. Did we see the kids? Two of them have tried to run towards the well but have been tackled by Smooka. The okay. other one has thrown themselves up against the door of the silver shop in panic mode. Okay. Uh, I'm going to um, just um, walk over to the one by the... Because I don't really want to hurt a kid. Walk over to the one by the uh, door... Uh, so why don't you guys tell us what's going on here? <laughs> Who are you? I am out uh, for stroll. You are stranger here. A stranger, stranger danger, stranger danger. <laughs> why are you out for a stroll when you're supposed to be in bed? Yeah. I don't have a bed. I am an orphan. Oh. Oh, you're sneaking around off. from the uh, out of... Um, you're using the well to sneak around to the shops and um, take things. Why are you doing that? I have not taken anything. I don't believe you. Hold on. And I don't uh, believe your mothers are going to believe you. Uh, I, don't, I don't have mothers. up now. Uh, Smook Smooka, what are you doing with your... Yes. Uh, uh, are any of these three kids the ones who stole my gold? Uh, the one Kelly is talking to is the one that stole your gold. Okay. I am going to say, okay, you, you took five gold from me earlier. I want it back now. Is that an intimidation? Now, if you do that, I'm going to uh, rule that the two that you're hanging on to are going to get another chance to break grapple. That's fine. Okay. Uh, yes, intimidation roll. Nat 20 and a 13. One of Never Rick, mind. Rick I, I, rolled, I rolled well. a two. I'm so bad at this, I can't even scare children. <laughs> and you let one of them go. Way to go, jackass. <laughs> <laughs> one of them dives in, shakes. I'll give you a chance to tackle him if you want. I will try that. Is that a dex? Ah, uh, yes. Dex attack. Yeah, no. That's an eight. <laughs> You shoestring tackle, but miss because Billy White Shoes Johnson is down the hole running, and you can audibly hear, Help! Help! Uh, Smooka, you still have a hold of one of them. Kelly, uh, with Smooka's botched roll, uh, you can tell that the kid is checking for the escape route. Uh, Gobi, you're with Kelly. What do you two want to do? Uh, the one who's trying to escape, I am going to try to cast Hold Person on since it's a not really a harmful spell, so I need a Wait, wisdom. Okay. Well, you're focused on the one. The other yeah. one is down the sheet. Do you want to do uh, the? Do you want to do the one in front of you? Uh, you know what? Why don't I just use suggestion? Sure. Just tell him to tell tell us the truth. 
That's a four. Uh, what do you want to know? Why are you stealing? Because uh, uh, the Major Merkin wants us to. Who's the Major Merkin? Who's the Major Merkin? Clear. Who am I answering? <laughs> Uh, the Major Merkin is the guy who gives us a uh, place to stay for the night. Ooh. Can well, you that's lead us? Just sad. Uh, where is, where's that at? Maybe we can find better arrangements for you. Uh, the suggestion compel them to answer or just. What's, it just what? suggests an. Uh, don't use it as often, but I think it just suggests an action. So uh, your suggestion thing. is to lead them to the Major Merkin? Uh, yeah, just stop suggesting. Well, I suggest that they tell the truth, but I don't know sure. how uh, often, they, long uh, that you want that to go. One uh, minute, I believe. Okay. Smooka, give me a strength check. The other one is wiggling, yelling, shut up, don't tell them anything. I roll a 10. I rolled an eight. You still got him. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to reason with him. I'm gonna say, look, if you, le <laughs> yeah, I know the half orc trying to reason with people. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say, if you uh, if you lead us to this major Merkin, uh, maybe we can uh, try to help you out, uh, find you a better place to live. Persuasion check. Persuade. Oh yeah. Oh, this is gonna be good. Four. No. Kiss off, old man. Wow. <laughs> Yells at the other one uh, that's under Kelly's suggestion. Shut up. Don't tell him anything else. Uh, Shakes, uh, you made the dive for the guy in the well. What are you doing about that? Um... I'm going to jump down and follow him. Nice. Uh, it's dark down there. Give me oh, a perception good. check. That's not good. I swear. It's done. That's a three. <laughs> you trip over a torch at the bottom. Hey. Uh, you are going to sustain a bloody limp and four hit points of oh my damage. <laughs> you land... You're going to have a cobblestone imprint right there on Great. your forehead as you miss the last rung. You <sighs> fall and you kick a torch. Uh, back to Gobi and Kelly. Uh, you seem to have this kid enthralled in the suggestion. Uh, what do you want to do? Uh, I'm going to ask for his address. <laughs> uh, where does the nice. Mage of Merkin live? In the sewers. Sewers. Oh, you poor thing. We really do need to get you a better home. So uh, Mag maybe we can. Magically, Shannon doesn't care. Yeah, maybe we can track the people um, through uh, the other kids through the sewers back uh, to the base. Give me a perception check, Kelly. I'm already down here. Uh, it's a fifteen. Uh, yes, you notice that Shakes is missing. Uh, but you hear a god awful clatter, and you. Oh, I think I know where Shakes is at. <laughs> okay, you're still holding on to your brat who's kicking and screaming. I was going to say, I'll just. Uh... What in the hell is going on out here? You know what? Why don't we're, the one that we still have take him to the tavern and buy him a room for the night? That's a good and idea. I'll take care of it in the morning. Yeah, let's do that. This is just a kid. Well, the guy I we know, watched down yeah, in the sewers. Just a kid. You, you guys walk. Yeah, so, Smooka, you've got one. Kelly, you've got the other. Mm -hmm. You two walk in holding these two kids, and the Juta members. Hello, kids. <laughs> what are you smiling at? We wish to help you with these. Uh, Poor depressed children. <laughs> We've got the situation in hand. Thank you very much. What are you going to do with them? 
Actually, we're going to buy them rooms. We're going to the fix night. them. Help the uh, fix the situation. Uh, if in we the, fix them out of their poverty, maybe they won't steal anymore. In the yes. tavern, you take you take underage kids into a tavern to buy them rooms. Sounds like child slavery to me. You guys are going to prison. Where else are <laughs> rooms? Back at your place at the inn. Uh, meanwhile, you hear a lot of screaming and yelling. Gobi, you're the only one left out in the courtyard. Here comes Alderman Boris trying to hitch up his pants and not doing a great job. You notice he looks like a bear. He's got so much chest hair. He's screaming and yelling and he's got a hammer. Demands to know what the hell is going on. We found the kids who were yeah, screaming. Bah, 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 bah. You're in the tavern. <laughs> oh, sorry. We're in the middle of our investigation and I ask you to stand down. Oh. You are alone here. My Help. compatriots. Who are not here. Are you drunk? <laughs> Help. They are off doing what they need to do. And are I'm... you the burglar? You are the burglar. Seriously? Seriously. Where are your friends? Are, are you they an... imaginary? Are you an Down idiot? Down here. Really? Are you an idiot? Because you met all my friends. Shakes, he does hear you. Are your friends under the well? I did not pay. I'm not paying you to fix the well. What are you doing? Go back to your house. I do not think I'm going to pay you. <laughs> he wanted Ooh, he's reneging. I don't give a shit because <clears throat> you're an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> you, you hear Shakes yelling in the sewer. No. I go to. I go to help him. Uh, I found you, the sewer. You, you see blood trickling down his face. Uh, uh, you tell him that there's a torch right over by his leg. Yeah, get that torch. I assume you have flint and tinder on him? I have, yeah. I would presume I do. I have torches, I think. Uh, you light it up. It's, uh, it's a very narrow tunnel, uh, but it's a very dry tunnel. Doesn't smell like sewer at all. Uh, inside the tavern, Kelly and Smuka, you're trying to sell off these children to what? <laughs> no, what we're, getting... just, we're just getting you... rooms for them for the night. I so they you have might have rooms for the night. Sleep. So they can work it off later. The Juta members say, uh, give them the back room. We will, we will pay for it. Mm. Okay. That doesn't sound right. I don't feel like they'll be safe here. Maybe Ooh, one of the little, maybe one of the, um, you're um, smarter than I am. I'll defer to you. Maybe one of the, uh, mothers would be able, willing to take them just for an evening. You talk to them. The mothers hate me. That's no shit. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, now you want to go banging on doors to ask if the mother. I'm going to find something them? to do with these kids. <laughs> Well, and how far away is money. the inn? If we, need to buy, if we need to pay for a room, I have money, but... You can take them back to your place and buy a room. we do that if we have time. Yeah, why not? Uh, yeah, Kelly, that works. Luca, you walk outside, give me a perception check. Okay. 18. Four. I don't see anything. Smuka, you start to move across the dirty inner courtyard, hoping that uh, the alderman will let you pass through his shop. Kelly, where the frick are the other two? Where did where did Shakes and Gobi go? Your associates are missing. I always tell them, don't split the party. And what did they do? They split the party. Who's missing? I split my head. <laughs> they split the party? <laughs> Down in the tunnel, uh, Gobi, give me a dexterity check. Ugh. Oh, well, that's not going to be good. Four. Yeah, you slip on the rung two, you land on shakes. Each one of you takes three more hit points of damage as Gobi is heavier than she appears to be. Lands directly oh on you, shakes, just as you light the torch. The torch skitters away, d12 against me. 
Jeez. Two. I beat that with an 11. Uh, torch stays lit. <laughs> Gobi, I think I found the way we need to go. I'll Where's the other you. two? Where's the other two? Um, I'm not sure. Uh. Jakes, Gobi. Hello. Fair enough. You guys Where'd are you each yelling. Down here in the well. Where oh, you they go? tried to go ahead of us. Okay, listen, you two. I want you to go to this inn, and I want you to get rooms. If I hear that you did not go to this inn, and you did not get rooms, then I'm going to hunt you down and make you pay. How much money are you giving them? Oh, no. Uh, let's see. I will give them two gold each, which is more than enough to get them rooms. Smooker, are you going and if to you are where, and if you are the room in tomorrow, then I will give you two more gold each. Smooker, Deal? are you going to let your guys go? What? Are, she's uh, giving the money to go get rooms where you guys are staying. Are you going to let yours go? Yeah. Sir. Okay. Oh, yeah, we'll be there. Okay. I'll get more money in the morning, or I come and, um, and I come and make you pay. Well, Mitch comes and cuts off your balls. Uh, fair enough. Uh, yeah, you just lost four gold there. I'm going to be there. Uh, yeah. Smooka, uh, with your abhorrent rolls, uh, Kelly has to tell you that the other two are below ground right now. Okay. Are, are we going to go ahead? Go ahead. Yeah, and join the them? other two are um, down in the well, so I think we should join them. I agree. Both of you give me dexterity checks as you try and climb down the uh, rungs. Uh, shakes and go. I'm moving out of the way. That's what I wanted to hear. <laughs> so, that's I a two. A, I rolled a natural 20. Very nice. Uh, Kelly goes down first, slips on the rung, falls. Smooka, as he descends, uh, spreads his legs and kind of stands over Kelly. Good news, uh, he didn't land on you. Bad news, you take three hit points, Kelly. I help I help and Kelly up. You and Shakes have matching uh, skull pieces. <laughs> Says made in Cathaway. You okay? You okay, Shakes? Um, I'm hurting, but I'll that be first, fine. That first step's a doozy. The last one, too. Uh, this tunnel appears to be crafted. Uh, it's made of brick, fine brick. Kelly, you'll notice that uh, certainly some of your kinsmen were probably responsible for it. You notice that it is bone dry. Uh, but Kelly, with your dwarven background, you notice that this is not a tunnel. This is a waterway system, but it's bone dry. It goes at a decline uh, straight ahead and makes a jog to the right. It used to be a waterway. I'm not sure why there's not water flowing through it now now has anyone lit a torch or a lantern because i have dark vision shakes yeah. has a uh, torch and he's he's bleeding from the head similar to how kelly is um does the does the torch cancel out or the lantern cancel out my dark vision it will okay uh who is leading the trip down this tunnel Dark vision boy. Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> okay, as you uh, walk along, give me a wisdom save. Oh, fun. Okay, I get a plus one. Five. <laughs> I'm screwed. We're rolling who is, well tonight. Who Who is the second one behind Smooka? I'll be second. Uh, Shakes, you hear a twang, and then Smooka appears to have something pour all over him. Do you lean forward with a torch to investigate? No. No. <laughs> uh, Smooka, give me a perception check. You got it. Eleven. This smells like oil. 
Keep that torch away from me. <laughs> uh, Smooka, what do you want to do? Is there any way to get this oil off me? I, I don't know if we have water or Go back owls. upstairs and find some baking soda. <laughs> yeah, oil and water don't mix, so you're going to need more than that to get the oil off. <laughs> you're right. Does anyone have a towel? <laughs> None of you stole the towels Fresh from out. the yet. Always, always have a towel with you. Okay, I don't know how I'm getting this oil off. I don't think you're gonna. In that case, I will go forward, oiled up. Fair enough. Shakes, uh, give me a perception check. Yeah, this is a running well lately. Uh, Eleven. Uh, give me a dexterity at advantage. At advantage. At least I get to roll a better die, maybe. Oh, my normal one rolled better. Uh, 17. Uh, yeah, you take great care so that you don't uh, drop the torch into the oil. Let everybody know there's oil right here. Be careful. Kelly, Kelly and Gobi, give me dex checks at advantage. That's way better than the last one. 16. Nine. Not great, uh, but better than last one. Kelly, you kind of slip, fall on your butt, get uh, oil on your butt, but you were not hurt. Uh, oh. Pick yourself up, make sure that there's nothing on your hands, and you guys continue to follow Smooka down the way. Uh, it uh, bones over to the right. You're still at a, a consistent decline. Uh, yeah, we'll skip that one. Uh, as it goes to the base, uh, you notice that there's a whole lot of packing material, old clothes, junk, stuff like that. Hold on, old, did you say, oh. Uh, and all of you guys, uh, and I forgot to mention, when you guys went into the tavern and the silversmith shop, you were right up against the river. So, just so you know, uh, this distance is about the same. You guys must be coming close to the river. You come to a uh, right angle, but right here, there's a lot of junk and stuff. You said clothes, right? Mm. There, there's some Luca, clothes, no. there's some furniture, there's... Uh, I'm I'm taking like a shirt or something, a long sleeve shirt, don't. and, and r getting all the oil off of me. Sure, uh, give it a big old tug. Strength check. Oh, strength check, no problem. <laughs> 19. Yeah. Nicely done. You yank a bunch of shit out of there and you notice hey, there's water coming through here. <laughs> not a, not a, it, it's a steady stream, but it's not a very big stream. Right. Uh, and it juts off to the right. Okay. Keep going. Yeah. So you keep wiping yourself off with this. Da 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 da. Gobi and Kelly, you guys being last, you notice that the. Uh, uh, yeah. We're probably okay. Give me an insight check, both of you. Just my dice that. It's a nine. Mm, Twelve. Eh, Gobi, eh, you and Kelly think yeah, it'll probably be okay. Uh, as long as no more uh, debris gets removed, it should be fine. Uh, Smuka, you're leading the charge. You go down, and there's a, there's this weird light at the end of the tunnel, and there's a, like a beaded curtain right here. Uh, and, and you hear uh, some scuffling and some movement. Uh, you hear a voice, hurry up, hurry up. I can't lift you any higher than that. <clears throat> I have a plus one stealth, but it's at a disadvantage. I'm wondering if I should try to sneak up and see if I can find out what's going on, or if I should just charge in with my long sword. The rogue looks at you and says, yes, yes, sneak in. Okay, all right. I rolled an 11 
plus one is a 12. Uh, you go through the beaded curtain and the beads bang together. Just as oh, you yeah. enter this room, you notice a man pushing the escaped child up through a shaft uh, near the top of the ceiling. This room is about 12 feet high uh, and 20 by 20 square. It's filled with a lot of junk, but usable junk. It appears as though it's uh, almost a barracks type situation. Uh, one is a broken down bed uh, that looks kind of nice. Everything else looks like crap. Uh, like it would hold a bunch of urchins. Uh, there's uneaten food, uh, there's old containers, there's a variety of trash, a glass hummingbird hangs from the ceiling. Ah. There is a beautiful circular rug in front of the bed. Uh, and with a mighty push, uh, the adult male pushes the child through and he goes through a niche in the wall. He spins around and he hears you. He sees you coming through Smooka and he sees others behind you. There are small oil lamps in this room, so it is fairly well lit. Uh, who the hell are you? Smooka? Were the people arresting you for exploiting children and theft? Says the guy who just wanted to drop them off in a tavern. Uh, <laughs> I, what? Huh? What? What are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. Can I make it? The uh, hummingbird and rug do not belong to you. I didn't steal those things. They were brought to me as gifts. I Can I make an insight roll? Sure. Who brought them to you? And you know the humming where the hummingbird came from because you were looking at it before. I uh, I rolled a sixteen. Okay, what's the what's the insight you're looking for? Is he lying to us? <laughs> oh yeah, he's lying. <laughs> <laughs> he's a horrible liar. Uh, Kelly, he points out to you that there are a lot of glass hummingbirds. He has no idea where this one came from. Uh, and what was your question, Shakes? I was asking who brought the gifts to him. Uh, the children brought the gifts to me. Uh, and you know what? Uh, it was kind of nice because they said something to me uh, in uh, a great deal of respect. Would you like to know what they said to me? Sure. Uh, Gobi, you immediately recognize he's casting a spell. Oh, fuck. Everybody give me a charisma save, please. No. Oh, I'm screwed. <laughs> No, I have a minus one charisma. 14. I rolled a six. So did I. <clears throat> we are totally 15. Uh Kelly, so am I. Is that a six? Yes. <laughs> so did <laughs> I. Chase and Gobi, uh, you pass the save, but you notice this hypnotic pattern appears like a pinwheel. And Smooka and Kelly are... Pretty colors. Smack, shake, smack. Shakes and Gobi, uh, you notice a crooked smile crosses this guy's face and then realize his massive chest hair is hanging out of his tunic. Uh, this must be the Mage of Merkin. You two roll initiative. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Kelly and Spooker roll initiative, but you're out at least this round. Okay, that's just that's just D20 plus it's initiative bonus. Okay. Yep. Yes. 12. 20. 12, 20, 15. Gobi. Oh. Uh, 14. Tied. Uh, Kelly's, yours was the 15? Yes. Uh, okay. Gobi and Taylor Dane. Uh, are up first. Gobi, I'll let you do the honors if you want. What do you want to do? Mm, I will do... <clears throat> I know I have stuff. Roll 
Ray of Frost? Sure. Hit me. Hit me. Plus five. Eighteen. That hits. Okay. Damage. Um, it's one D eight. Seven. Ouch. Uh, odd go be even shakes. Six shakes. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Oof. Go ahead and give me another charisma save. You have to roll a concentration on getting hit. Oh, the other ones. Uh, yes, but uh, this is at the same time. Okay. Uh, said charisma save? Yep. Uh, it's a 10. Uh, kill the wizard. Uh, I will roll my concentration. And that is a 15. So the hypnotic pattern stays in place. You have been commanded to kill the wizard. <laughs> it is your turn, Shakes. Okay. Um, well, I'll pull out my rapier. And I'll approach the wizard. And I will attack. And with the way my rolls have been going, we should be okay here. You'll be fine. <laughs> of course. 23. <clears throat> for six piercing damage. Nice. And that's all six because this is not friendly fire. This is an attack. Gobi, you take six hit points of damage from your friend who is clearly working in cahoots with this guy top of the order smooka give me that charisma save to see if you can break out of the you got it. sixteen uh you shake your head and you have broken free of the spell Kelly you're up with a fifteen same thing <laughs> Pretty, pretty light. That's a six. Again. Yep, you're still out. Smooka, you notice that uh, Shakes is attacking Gobi for some reason. Uh, Gobi, when she gets back, it's her turn and Taylor Dane's turn. Uh, Smooka, you will notice that uh, Taylor Dane is trying to climb up and out through the thing, uh, but Shakes and Gobi are in between you. Uh, Gobi, what do you want to do for the attack? Because Shakes has attacked you as well. Can I quarter step out? Sure. Who do you want to go after? Uh, Shakes. Fair enough. No. Uh, she's going after Shakes. Uh, with 10. No. Uh, she swings to defend herself. Uh, give me my acrobatics check. Uh, 13. Taylor has gotten a grip up and he's pulling himself up shakes uh go ahead and uh give me your charisma see if you can just snap out of it 13 13 is what you need uh what the hell's going on top Whoa. of the order smooka you're puzzled shakes was just attacking Gobi. Gobi is attacking shakes uh, and Taylor Dane is trying to crawl out of this mess. What do you want to do? I'm going to grab either his feet or his legs and pull him back down. Dexterity check to get past Gobi and Shakes. You got it. Eleven. Eh, close. You're going to suffer minus one to your attack penalty. Uh, go ahead and two hit Taylor Dane. Minus one. So uh, is that just a d20 minus one then? d20 minus one plus your dex. Okay, then it's just a straight uh, d20. There you go. Oh, shoot. I rolled a two. Mm. <laughs> uh, you go charging into the debris and find a bowl of gruel that now covers you uh, and Taylor Dane's feet are wiggling away uh kelly your turn let's see if the pretty lights are still twinkling for you uh they are not that's a 21 i hope that's enough uh, 
What the hell's going on? Uh, Gobi, you and Taylor Dane. Taylor looks like he's going to escape. What do you want to do? <clears throat> I try to stab him. Okay. Well, you got to drop your staff and grab your dagger. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and hit him. Okay, try that again. Ah, crap. One. Ah, <laughs> uh, odd. You stab yourself. Even you stab Spooka in the ass. Not good either way. Ah, <laughs> uh, even. Spooka! How much damage does he take? 1d4 and have it because it's friendly fire. Well, it's a one. There you go. You take one hit point of damage. Uh, acrobatics check for Taylor Dane is a 12. Uh, Taylor's feet disappear in the cold uh, Shakes. Uh, now you got two people blocking you. Although, if you want to leap, step on Gobi's fallen body, and launch yourself in, you'll have to hit the hole to get in there, and you may give chase. Let's do it. Go, go ahead and hit that hole. Hit the uh, dex or dex. acrobatics? Dex. Dex or acrobatics? I'll give you acrobatics. All right. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's a 13. <laughs> you're in, uh, and you're John McClane. You are in an air vent. <laughs> uh, so, Smooka, you scream out in pain. Uh, what do you want to do? You have Gobi on top of you. Uh, I'm going to try to get out from under Gobi and pursue Taylor Dane. Okay. Uh, give me a strength check. You got it. Fifteen. Yeah, you push her off, uh, but you notice the shakes is climbing into the air vent. Uh, you're going to have to wait Okay. Uh, or you can pull Shakes out and take his place. <laughs> no, no, I'll wait. Kelly, perception check. Ah, uh, uh, that's a 13. Water is coming up to your ankles. Yeah. Uh, we're going to need to get out of these tunnels fast. Uh, Shakes. I think the dam broke. Shakes, since, since we're late on time, uh, we'll finish this off with a D12 roll. Uh, uh, so why is it on me? If, well, because you're the only one that can catch Taylor Dane. Okay. If, if you win, uh, you will catch him outside the tunnel uh, and be able to detain him long enough for Smooka to follow. If I win, you get kicked in the face and he escapes. And to, to be fair, I will move the camera. So, uh, go ahead and make your roll. This is mine. I can do it as well. Oh, that's cocked. Reroll it. Uh, yeah, well, I should have kept the half cocked one. What was it? It's a four. Here's mine. Reroll. <laughs> four. Ooh. Nine. God damn, eight. Kick in the face. <laughs> So close. Ow. So close. Uh, folks, it looks like Taylor Dane is going to go ahead and live to fight another day. But you know who is responsible. Uh, unfortunately, the water was rising because Smooka pulled the cork. Uh, you, <laughs> you've left the rug and, of course, the hummingbird behind. But at least you know who's responsible. Um, so We're not going to uh, get paid. Apologies for running over, folks. No, uh, no this problem. is a lot of fun. Uh, yeah. So, uh, Smooka slash John, what'd you think? I loved it. I had a great time. Uh, it was nice to play something lighthearted uh, because I've been, uh, I just finished a really serious Cthulhu uh, camp uh, game. So, this was fun. And like we I said, I'm. 
Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, I'm, I'm glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> Kelly or Shannon, what'd you think? Uh, I I um, enjoyed it. I like the story base and I like the um, comedy style as well. Yeah, I'm not very serious at all. <laughs> I can play I those games too, but I go both ways. Me yep. too. Uh, Andrew, you've been here before. What'd you think? That was a lot of fun. I, I know you had the misfortune of I was ready for combat and you gave me RP. I was ready for RP and you gave me combat. Which one were you ready for tonight? I wasn't sure. I've just decided to stop guessing. Um, but this is probably the the least combat I've had with you. So it was kind of fun having a more of a mystery style one. Uh, the rules uh, actually benefited you because the Junta, we're going to go ahead and have a fist fight with you. But the rolls uh, with Smooka winning the mumbly peg uh, helped. Uh, Carrie, what'd you think? Well, I apologize for all my absences for the dogs. Damn dog. Well, I know. It was good. I enjoyed it. I didn't like being able to talk with a, an impediment, but yeah, it worked out well. Winston came to say hello a few times, too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, you, yes. you and Cyclops uh, had your own problems. Uh, folks at home, this has been Murder Hobo Inc., the Gen Con edition. We hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you want more of this, follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D, join our Discord. If you want to buy our cool crap, uh, the link is down there. Most importantly, if you want to be on a one-shot with us or on the Tuesday talk show, M Hobo Inc., Twitter or Gmail, hit us up. We will get you on. Uh, thank you to Pirate Dog Dice, whose big red I did not have to use because these guys rolled crappily enough. I didn't have to Amen. add to their trouble. <laughs> uh, and don't forget the Kickstarter for How to RPG with Your Cat is live. Check them out. I think they were 70% funded already, and it's only been live for two days. Uh, How to RPG with Your Cat is from oddfishgames.com. Folks, we've got a one-shot happening tomorrow night. Same bat time, same bat channel. Uh, and then we have the uh, tri-generational campaign on Sunday about 4.15. Folks, for all of us here at Murder Hobo Week, I appreciate you stopping by. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Let's give them a big dating game kiss and wave. Mm -hmm. Bye, everybody. Uh, Thank uh, you. Muted and Murder Hobo Week done.